Well, hello everybody and welcome to another vlog from the Happy Travellers. Recently had uh, a full service done, so a major service and a habitation check plus an MOT. And we had the MOT done early because, well, the MOT is due on the 12th of April. 2019 and that would have been the third anniversary of the date Nikita Chloe was registered and therefore it would be three years old and has to have an MOT certificate. So the reason we brought it forward was really to tie in with our trip to Spain because we're not, we're not entirely sure that when we go in December that we will want to get back for early April or whether we might want to stay a bit longer and sort of tag into the um, rallies that we're on through May and a bit of June so we might be over there for quite an extended period um, traveling down through France into Spain maybe further down into Spain and spending a little time in Portugal and then back into Spain and, and back home. So that might take a bit longer um, than we, well, the, the band would allow us to be back for the MOT in April. So that's why we've done it early. So the MOT will now be, um, on, I think it's the 24th, of October that we had it done so it would be that will be the date for the uh, MOT for future Hi. years and the habitation check so um, the habitation checks uh, are a bit weird well I always thought they're a bit weird because I didn't really know what was involved and I, and I expect a lot of you guys out there aren't really sure either so I thought I'd just go through what we had done, now bear in mind that we had um, the MOT, the habitation check and a major service. Now I didn't know whether the mechanical part of the motorhome needed a major service, but given, given the history of where we got it, that is Trouble World, you know, they were supposed to give it a service on well, at the end of January 2018, when we bought it. And given that I wouldn't trust them to do anything correctly, I thought, well, let's, let's give it a major service now. So let's get everything checked, all the filters and oils all changed and topped up, and everything done correctly. So that's what we've done. It cost a little bit more money than a than a just an ordinary minor service, but I think it was well worth doing for peace of mind and going forward as well. So, what's a habitation check? Well, first of all, the habitation check is going to be all about you know making sure the integrity of the habitation area. That is everything above the chassis and behind the driving area or the cab section so the living area making sure that there are no leaks no damp and you know everything is holding together plus they also check uh, the fridge operation and uh, clean that up and they also do all of the heating so the heating boiler and so on and all of that. On the mechanical side, it's just a standard service where they do the uh, oil, air and pollen filters all through there. They change, they've actually changed the oil um, in the engine so that's you know drained it out, replaced it, um, which probably should have happened in January but I, I'm I'd be confident that they didn't do it, um, but that's now done. So everything is checked, and it all went through 
with with no problems at all the damp checking on the inside of the van um, the official figures tell us that any any damp reading between zero and 15 percent that's one five percent nothing to worry about so i'm really happy to report that nikita chloe is 12 percent damp everywhere <laughs> and that sounds crazy doesn't it so um i'm just going to put uh just going to give you a, a view of that and they went round the whole thing so the the pod area is a visual inspection um and a you know just to see whether that's damp because that is that's a completely sealed area there's only joins um and water ingress points from the sort of roof light back so that's that's where they've checked and what i what i can do is i'll show you this here i don't know if you be able to see that yeah so this is a representation of the van and you'll see all these numbers that are around here they're all number 12 so that's how they check everything and so on so so you see i'm you know very very happy with that um and zero to 15 percent no cause for concern 16 to 20 percent now i don't know what they do if it was 15 and a half um readings between 16 require further investigation compare with the average reading consider asking to recheck the area in three months so if one area maybe you know the door where we had that leak through the window maybe the door area might have been a bit maybe that was up at 20 percent they'd ask us to come back and recheck that you know and compare it with the rest and, and think well okay so further investigation and so on 21 uh, percent and above will uh, they'll identify the possible need for remedial work and so on so they'd really want to take some action if it was 20 21 percent or above which is you know that that gives you a lot of peace of mind um if they're going to do that there's also a long list um well this is the mechanical list so fuel filter spark plugs no spark plugs obviously it's a diesel air filter pollen filter oil oil filter brake fluid antifreeze washer uh, fluid power steering they check all the lights the windscreen wipers battery conditions exhaust um, visual brake checks so they take all the wheels off and check all the brakes to make sure that they're all all there um, they, they cleaned them up uh, aircon performance yep uh, steering shock absorber suspension fan belt cam belt uh, cam belt is an na because they can't check that it's inside uh, a, a sort of cup they have to they probably have to take the engine out nearly to to do that wheel bearings um horn universal joints any leaks uh, like brake fluid or um, oil leaks or stuff like that they check all the electrics um, the door pins hinges and seat runners were all greased and lubricated they check all the um, tire uh, tread depths and they check the um, they check the uh, tire pressures as well including the spare so that's that's all pretty good there uh, now i think there was another there was another list of stuff oh yeah the habitation check and service comes with a big list to do as well and here it is let's uh, sort of get the get the thing to focus on that um there's this big list and where you see all the ticks that's all passed and where you see the text in the next column, that's uh, not applicable. So there was nothing wrong 
There was nothing wrong with the van at all. I'm really, really so pleased that um, Nikita Chloe passed all these checks and tests with flying colours and is all good to go and we're getting really, really excited about our trip to Spain and uh, all of that travelling. And we hope you will come with us as we travel around the UK and all of that European stuff by subscribing. And don't forget to click the bell icon because that's going to bring you reminders and extra features that YouTube are introducing um, just about now. So don't forget, click the bell. That's more important these days than it used to be. And uh, you'll be able to keep up more regularly with our journeys but thanks so much for watching if you've liked this video please give us a thumbs up and we're going to see you again tomorrow thanks again for watching bye bye for now